after a super eventful first day, um, we pulled up at Warramore Station. Yesterday we left home, left Mandra at about 5.30 in the morning. Everything was going awesome. Uh, felt the car a bit of wobble in the back end uh, as we pulled into our, our Billabong Roadhouse. After further investigation, realised that a few loose wheel nuts on the rear right hand wheel and two studs snapped off. Not what you need. My fault. Should have done a bit of a walk around, check the wheel nuts before I left, but pretty busy, didn't get a chance to do it. But anyway, that was yesterday. Well, first little mishap for the uh, for the trip. Two snap studs due to this guy not doing his due diligence and checking his wheel nuts. I said to Jacko yesterday, I said I should be rotating the wheels, but bugger, I'll do it when I'm in X mouth. And if I had done that, I would have noticed loose wheel nuts. I didn't because we were in a hurry, busy, busy, whatever. But yeah, my mate Mackie here got the job done. But yeah, we all got it done. We all got done. 36 degrees here at um, Billabong. Ended up taking studs off the spare. Off the hub on the back there, two studs, whacking them in there, and luckily they were the same, so I don't want to be doing that again. It's too hot. But anyway, we got the job done, so see you in Warrimal. But today we pulled up at Warrimal uh, Warrimal Riverside Retreat, and mate, what a what a beautiful spot. Drive past this spot every every time we come to Exmouth, but this is the first time we've actually stopped in, and yeah. Don't know what to say, it's just awesome. I want to spend a couple of days looking around, but uh, if you drive past this place and you think about pulling in, get in and have a look. You got like a, it's an old old car tip, there's these little um little walk trails that go through the bush, and you see it's all got these sort of stuff, you know. Dumbo, little lounge room over there with a TV and a few stubbies there, but yeah, all this sort of stuff's cool as so. Um, yeah, make sure you get here. We're just we're just all packed up. Gonna head through to Exmouth and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, no more car trouble. But yeah, get down to Wilmore Riverside Retreat. They've got the hot springs. Yeah, magical spot. Make sure you get down here and come and have a look. So just while we're here, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick rundown of the accommodation here. So we stayed in one of the one of the units just so we could use a shower and all that sort of stuff. And uh, the boys set up their swags on this little grass area. So that's all your campsite, all through here. Really cool, nice grassy little area. You've got communal showers just over here. The hot springs are just behind that new shed there. And uh, yeah, really nice little spot. Come up on the veranda. That's a pie barbecue. Nice little spot to keep the footy. Some lounge chairs. This is, this is all uh, all basically one, one villa. So from where the lounges are, we will go and have a bit of a look inside here. Right Plenty of room. One bathroom. Queen size double bed, super comfy. Icy cold aircon. This room here has um, three single beds, so you've got two bunks and a lot of little trundle. And then another bathroom toilet in here. So yeah, plenty of room. If you come here with a family, five years in here, I think it costs us about 200 and, 235 a night. Somewhere around that, but uh, well worth it. Nice little stop. You know, over there, they're doing some little function center, which will be pretty cool when it's all done. But anyway, we're gonna hit the road and we'll see you when we're up, up a bit further. That was pretty cool. We um, just got put up on main roads for a uh, vehicle and license check, which is pretty good. Keep us safe on the road, check check uh, larger vehicles, so just check all the brakes and tyres, bearings. But uh, yeah, pretty good dudes. 
Just a bit of a look at the setup out here. These guys are nice and polite. Always keen for a yarn. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Uh, it's good seeing our uh, taxpayers' dollars put to good use. So we'll go catch up with the rest of the crew now and keep motoring on. Lovely trip up to Exmouth from uh, from home. We uh, we had a good trip. Found a little little gem in the rough or diamond in the rough, Boorimal Station. If you've been thinking about going there and drive past it, do yourself a favour and get there. Now lost the tyre on the cruiser. We uh, we sorted out in the end and uh, unpacked all the car, unpacked the boat, unpacked the skis, and we've wound it up with a beautiful little uh, swim at the end of the day. Glass off down the Gulf. Water's about 25 degrees. It doesn't really get any better than this. We've got about four or five days of beautiful weather, which as far as we can see on the forecast. And uh, we're gonna make the most of it. So, what do you reckon, Macca? Good to be here, mate. Bloody good to be here. Rory, Stego? Oh, yeah, all go, eh? Yeah, So yeah, put the skis in for a bit of a, bit of a cruise. Couple of cans down the Gulf. What a way to wind up a trip up Dex Mouth, first day, done and dusted. You! Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> 